Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial on how to set up MariaDB on your Synology box and be able to connect to it using dbether. So you see first here my DSM version is 7.1 um, I'm using a, quite an old model of Synology now DS414. Uh, before we continue what we're going to need to make sure is that we have SSH enabled currently. Um, you can disable it after if you want but we're going to need it to be able to access the machine uh, once we've installed MariaDB. So if we go over to the package center, we are going to want to go over to all packages and then look for MariaDB, which is over here. So in my case, it's version 10. I'm going to click install. This will now download in the background. Hopefully it won't take too long. Um, I don't believe it's a very big installation file. And there we go. Just wait for it now. Okay, so when it finishes loading, we should be presented with some prompts that we're going to need to uh, fill. Just waiting for it. Here we go. So we're going to need to set up a password. So try and make it particularly strong. Just going to set one now for myself. Up to you if you want to change the port number. Uh, I generally keep it on 3306. Read through some information. Um, and do we want to have it run straight after installation? We do. So I'm going to click done. This is now going to install on the back end now for us onto the box. Um, I'm just going to pause it here while it installs and I'll be back in a second. OK, so that took around about three to four minutes to finish installation. Um, now it has finished installing, what we're going to do is we're going to open MariaDB 10. And here you can see we can change the password we've just set, we can reset the root password, we can reset the database if needed. But the main thing we need to do at the moment is enable the TCIP connection. And we're going to need to enable this if we want to connect to the database with dbeaver. So I'm going to select that and then click apply. Now while that's applying, we're going to need to connect to the Synology box via SSH now. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to press the Windows key, type the letters CMD, and then run as administrator. And then that should hopefully load me up my command prompt. Now, I'm just going to SSH onto this now. So the user you need to SSH on with needs to have administrative access on the box. So there we go. Type in the password there. And there we go, we're on the box. So the first thing we need to do is try and log in to MySQL. So we'll type MySQL space dash U for user. So in our case, I believe the default user is called root when you set up MariaDB. And then another space dash P, P being password. So if we hit enter, it will now ask us to enter the password that we set up when we were installing MariaDB. So I've typed mine in, hit enter, and here I am now. So what we can see on that command prompt is MariaDB suddenly says it's connected. However, it's connected to none. So we're going to tell MariaDB that we want to use MySQL. So use. And we can see that's now changed from none to MySQL. And what we're going to want to do is create a instance of a user now, uh, insert a record into the database for our user to be able to connect to MariaDB. So to do this, first word is create, then user, then single quote, name the user what you want. In my case, I'm going to call this one dev, then an at symbol, then another single quote, then the local IP P address set that you've got, but on the final set of numerics, rather than put in a single value like one or anything between one and two, I five, put a percentage sign. And this will mean that any IP address on your local network connecting should have, shouldn't have any issues connecting. Okay, and once you've done that, so we now need to set a password. So do a space after finishing off the IP address with a single quote and type identity by and then set a password so single quote ok 
Oh, don't forget the trailing um, semicolon like I did there. If you do, just type it and hit enter. So that now should have created a user called dev. Have uh, that dev user should have access to be able to connect to a D DB on any local IP address, and their password is there. So let's see if they are there. So select user comma host from the table user semicolon. We can see devs in there now. Okay, so next thing we need to do is grant them privileges to be able to actually do stuff on the database. So first thing you type is grant, then space, all, then space, then privileges. So and then on, and then we want star dot star space two single dash the name of our user which is dev in this case single dash at single dash and then that same subset again of ip addresses remember to put percentage side to the end single dash colon enter that should now have granted us privileges if you haven't done already um, go over to the dbeaver website and download uh, the dbeaver community edition okay once you've downloaded the community edition of dbeaver and installed it on your machine what you're going to want to do is load it up and then in the top corner we have database click database and then new database connection select maria db and click next we don't have a database name so that can stay blank and then we want to set the server host. It's not local host because we're running it off our Synology box. So if we add the IP address of our Synology box in there, then if we set the username of the user we've just created in this guide, in my case it's dev, then set the password that we set for the dev account. And then test the connection. We can see that we're connected. Click finish. That now stores the database information on there. We can open it and then inside databases, I can go away, create a new database, click enter and off we go. I hope you found this guide useful and uh, take care. Bye.